the Honors College, we focus on more than just the academics. And we try to integrate your academics with five basic approaches that we think are very important for you as you go through your college career. Research is the process of contributing to the body of knowledge in your field. And you will be doing research as an undergraduate, but for those of you who go on to grad school, you'll be doing even more detailed research, and you'll need the tools to be able to do that. Coming into undergrad, I never really considered research as a potential career option, but I gave it a shot and joined a lab, started researching to see what it was, and because I knew that it would look good on the medical school application, and really fell in love with it. The underlying causes of male fertility are largely unknown, though my research aims to address what some of these causes are or may be. Sometimes research can be really frustrating. Um, at times the samples I'm working with don't, like the experiment doesn't come out well, it takes forever to capture them on the microscope, but I really enjoy doing research because I know that all the hard work and effort I've put into it will eventually help infertile couples have the family they, they desire. Many of you will find that your research is good enough that you'll be able to submit it and present it at both national and international conferences, and we will help you be able to do that. Nicole, for example, has presented at six different conferences, including an international society in Austria. Another really important tool that we hope to develop in you is leadership. My name is Javier Navas. I'm a political science major in my senior year at the Honors College. I currently work for the city of Sweetwater. Uh, I'm the mayor's office administrative assistant and I'm also the speaker of the Senate for FIU student government. I believe that leadership is something that's necessary, whether it's in the classroom or at work or with your family. Leadership is making the correct decisions, even though you know that there's always the opportunity of you making a wrong decision, but you keep on moving forward and you say, hey, you know, we're going to go in that direction and that, that this is the correct course of action to take as a collective group, not just for myself, but for all of us. Hi, my name is Bianca Gutierrez and I'm the Honors College Senator. Um, I am the representative of the Honors College within student government. It was through my Honors College class that there was different ideas as far as what a leader meant to us, but the idea that stuck most with me was the fact that a leader envisions the future by leaving a legacy, by working hard to establish something that's going to last longer than their term. The Honors College has helped me further develop my leadership skills by giving me the opportunity to do an internship with the city of Sweetwater. It's not only for political science majors that want to work at the mayor's office, but we have a finance department, we have an HR department, we have a police department, a communications department, where the best of the Honors College students that apply for these positions uh, get, to, get to work and, and it's an amazing, amazing networking experience. It's an amazing work experience where, where you get to learn different opportunities. You know, our current grants administrator used to be an intern. So, you know, it's very possible that this internship can turn out becoming a full-time job. Along with developing relationships with our local community, like the city of Sweetwater, we also want you to learn how to be globally aware and globally involved. We have many opportunities for doing this in our classes, but also in our study abroad courses. While well, participating in study abroad in France, I got to meet a resistance fighter in the city of Lyon, and he was the craziest old man I've ever met. He told us his story, and we got to ask him questions after that, and it was just, he was 17 at the time, so he couldn't legally stand up for the army, but he believed so strongly in fighting for his country and not letting people come in and basically rape it that he did everything he could. He started out just distributing literature and then he started making fake papers for people. So he helped a lot of uh, resistance fighters and Jews make fake identities. Yeah. And then he sabotaged um, German airplanes when he was in the concentration camp. <laughs> I definitely recommend studying abroad because it's such a change of the way you think and view the world. I mean, it was just amazing to see two countries that are so different yet so parallel and the way they function since their revolutions to World War II. We think you should be literate in the arts. You're gonna to need to be able to comfortably discuss what's going on in the arts when you're networking, when you're working in business, 
Just to be an educated person means that you should know something about the arts. Not all of you might be interested in various arts, but then again, some of you are very talented and perform, sing, compose, paint. Hi, my name is Daniel Yellen. I'm a music technology and performance major as well as an Olive College student at Florida International University. I like performing the pieces in front of individuals to see the reactions. I always love seeing how people enjoy or criticize or you get past the layering of just playing the notes and rhythms of the music and you actually interact with the audience. I like to dance because it's somewhat of a freedom for me. You feel like you're not cemented and it's kind of like a release from reality somewhat because you get to forget just everything and all you're thinking about is in that moment The Arts College has this program, Hearts, Honors Education in the Arts, that has honestly been one of the pinpoints that I think makes the Honors College, you know, so great. It's essentially a program where free tickets are offered to Honors students to attend cultural events around Miami. Best example, I have a friend. He he had never been to the opera. He, you know, he wasn't very he wasn't a very artistic person. And there was a, a Hearts event where essentially they were giving free tickets to the opera and he loved it. Ever since he went, he, you know, he's kind of been like, oh, I want to go to theater. What is theater? You know, he's wanted to go to a lot of them. He's gone to a couple since then. And even so, he actually, he's kept the ticket from the opera and he has it like taped right next to his desk. And I think it's very neat because it opens people's eyes to something that perhaps they would have never seen. It's, uh, I love it because I'm an actor. And I love to be as close to theater as possible, and especially with biology. It, textbooks are expensive, I have barely any time. And Hearts opens up uh, a pathway for me to be involved in the arts. The world doesn't work in little boxes that are defined by anthropology or biology or even international business. The world is an integrated place, so everything we do is aimed at helping you understand the cross connections between what you're learning, what you're doing, what you're experiencing in the Honors College. The Honors College provides me with a lot of small-scale practice for something I plan to do with my life in the future. So it allows me to explore disciplines that I might not necessarily feel are directly connected to me. The mission of meteorology is to understand chaos in order to save lives. Meteorologists have gathered an eclectic set of skills derived from other disciplines. For instance, because weather involves constant change, we use methods of detecting and modeling complex systems adopted from mathematics and physics. For me, dance is life. Empology is the study of life. Um, I kind of get my inspiration from nature. The theory that all life came from one basic form of life. Over an extensive period of time, millions of years, changes happened that allowed different species to thrive while the weaker and less equipped species were either wiped away or trapped in their form of existing. With that, evolution can be considered a change or growth in life to be better equipped for survival. Well, today, what would you call life? You need the human body to show dance and you need to have, you need to be able to express life and passion and all that. And I feel like biology is a lot more than just a living, a living, breathing being. You can't be absorbed in just one area of study. You have to know where someone from a language perspective is coming from, where someone from a religious perspective is coming from. You have to understand the different approaches in order to make them work together. Basically, the Honors College offers you an opportunity that you can't get anywhere else at FIU or at most universities. The opportunity to have a transformative college experience that will make you a well-rounded, integrated, globally aware, socially aware leader of the future.